Living in Pittsburgh is changing. Look at what's to come in the old Kaufman's department store, a tennis court, and an infinity pool. How about a lobby with a video wall made to look like a waterfall? All are planned amenities for a million dollar renovation that will turn the iconic downtown store into 311 luxury apartments. The project is featured in the latest home edition of Pittsburgh Magazine. Home editor Jessica Sinichak joins us with more on the change from shoe department to superb downtown living. What a change. My yeah, goodness. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. It's a really a real rebirth for the Coffins department store now known as Coffins Grand on Fifth Avenue. Um, Core Realty purchased the building in 2015 after Macy's closed mm -hmm. and has transformed it into these 311 luxury apartment buildings. Um, and very high end and high tech as well, which is pretty cool from a historical building. Um, they partnered with Amazon to bring the Alexa cloud based voice command system to this. all the apartments. So the residents are able to enjoy um, the voice command system where they can use their voice to um, communicate with the surround sound, lighting, TV, coffee. You name it, you just have to voice it. This honestly looks like we're looking at a, um, uh, an apartment building in Manhattan. It doesn't look like something that we would picture normally in Pittsburgh, but it's so neat that it's changing. It's pretty amazing, for sure. And I mean, that's not the end of it either. There's also going to be a even hotel that is coming to the building, as well as office space and retail and restaurant space as well. I love also that they're keeping the Kaufman's clock. Yeah, you can still meet under the Kaufman's clock. That is not going away. The developers kept the clock, but it's also a registered historic landmark, so that wasn't going anywhere. That wasn't going anywhere, but really neat stuff. Looking at that infinity pool and the waterfall, it's just, <laughs> it's just neat. It, who knew? That it would be in downtown Pittsburgh. Okay, so that obviously would be a little bit pricier. It's only going to fit a certain person. So let's talk about our own personal homes. If we wanted to design on a budget, try and do something to revamp our homes um, now that the holidays yes, are over. Yes, this was one of my favorite features because I am a Pinterest fan. I'm on there yes. constantly. Yeah. And so this feature took a look at how to get that Pinterest worthy home without breaking the bank. Um, and we talked to local interior designers to get their tips about how to do this. Um, the key to transforming your room was a mix of high end and lower end pieces, but mixing them in such a way that you can't tell which pieces were investment pieces and which pieces were not. So splurge where you need to. Yes, and, and you can splurge sort of on the little details too. Like you can take a plain couch from a big box retailer and add some fun higher end pillows to it to give it some personality. Um, in the kitchen, you could use um, cabinetry from IKEA, for example, put more unique or antique, possibly, knobs and pulls on the drawers to give it a more high-end look. Uh, very interesting stuff. And definitely, Pinterest, I love looking up Pinterest fails because that's okay. just where I fall into that category all the time. Very neat stuff. And uh, new neutrals, what are we exploring with that? Okay, so gray has been in for walls since 2008. And yes. gray is still in, but instead of like a cool slate gray, we're mo moving towards more of a warm brownish gray, which neat. looks great on the walls. Um, we talked to PPG Paints for the stories to get their trending colors for 2018. Um, we also talked about the 2018 color of the year for PPG paint, and that color is Black Flame, which is a black color with a hint of purple underneath it. Very neat. Yeah, that's. Uh, I just painted all the walls on our first floor. That cooler tone gray so now what am I going to do? Now maybe we'll try and find an accent wall or something. Right, to kinda... right. And that's another thing that we talked about. If you want to start small, if you don't want to go all the way with painting your uh, walls a dramatic color like black, you can start small with an accent wall or you can even paint your your doors, which are kind of like the new accent wall. It's small and instead of just being white, you can paint them a fun color to we, give your room a new look. We had a neighbor paint her door recently red, which I know isn't like, you know, groundbreaking, but it, it looks so cool and such a mm -hmm. drastic change to the outside of her home. Mm -hmm. So, no, it, that's also an economical way to change the whole look of your home is adding paint. Yeah, great stuff. Thank you so much for being here with us and giving those, those tips. And I can't wait to see it all in the magazine. Look for the features and more in the new winter issue of Pittsburgh Home Magazines on newsstands and online now. Up